Right, let's talk about the color equalizer module, okay? So you might know this from the color zones. And the difference between the color zones and the color equalizer is the fact that the color zones works with the display referred and then the color equalizer works with the scene referred. Now we've got a hue, a saturation and brightness and each of these tabs allows you to change these three things individually, right? Now, if you want to know where a color in your image is in this graph, all you have to do is get your, and then select a spot in your image. And if you only have the spot one, but you want the area one, just hold control, click on it, and then you'll see this, and you can now change it like so. Okay, so we know that the colors in the sky are here in this graph, okay? But we see these dots and they don't align with this line. But you can change that by switching the node placement to the left or to the right to make sure that they match up perfectly. Now, if you drag this upwards, you see that the sky is now changing color to the pinkish. And if you drag it downwards, it becomes green. Now, when is this useful? This is useful when you're working on an image that you want to color grade or you want to give it a film grade, for instance. And as said before, you can not only change the hue, but you can change the saturation as well. So you can increase that and you can change the brightness to make it even more bright. Now, this looks horrible. So let me just double click to reset it. Now, since I'm editing this, I figured I'd tell you something else as well. You see that not only the sky is being affected, but the entire image. And obviously you can change that by using different types of masks. If I get 10 comments down below, I'll make a dedicated video on masks. Now let's return to the video. You double click to reset it. And now we'll keep the saturation so we can desaturate the sky saturated so you have a great view of what is going on now it does have options as well which are the white level the hue curve the hue analysis radius the saturation threshold so let's say you bump this up all the way up here you can change the threshold and that will determine how much saturation will be added into this image you can change the contrast and the effect radius now the radius of applied parameters for the guided filter Contrast, it will increase the favor sharp transitions between saturations leading to higher contrast or decrease for smoother transitions. Now, all of this has to be read from here because the documentation isn't ready just yet. If you want to know what the saturation threshold is, it's to decrease it to allow chances in area with low chromatically, increase the restrict changes to higher chromatically, and increase the contrast in the voice brightness changes in low chromaticity, chromaticity areas. There we go. Right, now you can also change the way this curve is with the U curve, but you will only see those changes here. So let's say we change the hue and now we change this, the U curve gets adjusted, right? So you get a broader area or you get a more narrow area where you pick the colors from. It won't work in the saturation menu, like you can see up here, and it won't change in the brightness one. Let's bump this up. Uh, it doesn't work there as well. So it only works in the hue tab. Right, let me know what your most favorite way to use this module is, and maybe I'll apply it in the next image. See you guys next time. Cheers.